because the nation of gods and earths was so pivotal um, for the late 60s and 70s babies. I don't know if there's an understanding of what that was um, for us, the babies of the Panthers, the babies of the NOI, the babies of the movement of civil rights. I don't know if they, if our audience really truly understands what the nation of gods and herbs was, how we got a rock him a law, how we got a supreme team. Um, could you just share a little bit about what that was, the nation of gods and herbs? All right. So um, the nation of gods and herbs comes from. Um, all right. So you have 5% of the population of the planet Earth that are the poor righteous teachers. The nation of gods and earths are of the 5% part of the population of the planet earths. That they teach that the black man is God. Um, the white man is the devil. Um, and um, it spans off from the nation of Islam with Elijah Muhammad and Clarence 13X um, and Malcolm X. Uh, the lessons that they have, the 120 lessons, is written by Master Farad and Elijah Muhammad. They are basically questions and answers. When Clarence 13X left from what Malcolm X, he started his own. He took the 120 lessons and started what you have now as the nation of gods and earths, which their base is located in Harlem on 127th Street. And now getting the speed how that all comes about. Uh, again, at the time in June, the school hadn't told my parents yet that I wasn't going to class. They just finally told them in June. So when they told them in June, I was given an ultimatum to either, you know, Either I'm got to go to class, you know, or, you know, um, I can't stay there, you know. Um, and I had, um, at the time, was hanging out with my other friends that was from the building. That was pretty much my family. Their mom was staying in, in the projects over in St. Nick Projects, which is right next to the Nation of Gods and Nerves. Um, so I just was like, look, I'm going to go hang out with them for the summer and stay over there at their house, you know, to avoid my mom, my dad with, you know, this, you know, stuff. And I'm already getting out there, you know, so I just want to hang with them, you know, be with them. Cause again, I just love the brotherhood, you know? So I started staying over there, staying with them pretty much. Now I had always saw the school, but I used to actually think it was a Muslim mosque because I didn't know. I'm 14. I don't know what, you know, it was yet. So um, I walked past it a lot. So now that I'm in St. Nick, staying there that whole summer, I'm constantly walking by it every day. And it was always on my mind because my private school is just a few blocks from there. So mm -hmm. I always saw this place. So around that time, you know, being the Bible thumper I was going to school, me and my best friend Dwayne, at this age, of course, we started probably challenging a lot of stuff that we were reading in the Bible and going to school with around to the earliest 11, 12 years old, me and him was already challenging a lot of that stuff. And um, during that time, I had came up with the idea 
at maybe as early as 11 that I had it figured out that, you know, I was God. And even though it might not be understood, you know what I'm saying? My ed my mind and my education as far as what I had learned, that's what it had added up to me. You know, saying, wait, so I'm God. That's what it must be. So I was already thinking in that mentality for a few years before I even knew there was a nation of gods and earths. So now, fast forward, this day, I'm walking past, and I stopped this day and I asked them, what is this? This is a what? What's the, what is this place? And the brother said, "This is the nation of God to nurse." I like what? That's a Muslim mosque, you know what I'm saying? He said, "No." He said, "No." The the black man is God, or you know. So I said, "I don't really know so much about the black man being God, but I'm God." So you know what I'm saying? So this sounds. Interesting, you know what I'm saying? I will be, Intriguing. yeah, I, I'm willing now to, you know, you can speak further, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I can listen and that, um, at, uh, shout out to my enlightener, a do Allah, who was actually the top of the food chain, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? He was the lieutenant of the FOA, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And someone very powerful, was in the nation. Everybody that know the name, I just said no. Yeah, that was who I was speaking to. He became my enlightener, and he brought me in as that fourteen-year-old kid and started teaching me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, giving me the lessons, gave me the lessons, and um, I became a part of. Now, oh wow, that was, I became a part of another brotherhood that was. something different that helped pull me actually away from what I was doing up until that point with the games. These are men now. These are men now. These are, these are, these yeah, are warriors. These are men now.